What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Michael here with a brand new Fallout 4 build known as the Diplomat. This build has been made as a result of you telling us what you want us to create. So this goes out to everyone asking for a charisma build. Be sure to leave a comment with what kind of Fallout 4 build you want us to do next and perhaps we'll consider doing it earlier than we planned. This build is all about making some serious bank through a silver tongue and some charm. The diplomat can bargain his way through any situation and loves creating value in people's lives, but he doesn't necessarily do this for free. A playthrough with the diplomat is super fun, and you're going to be spending plenty of time building an empire of settlements. If you've never played a charisma build before, I will warn you it is extremely fun and it's hard to go back to missing out on those awesome persuasive dialogue options. You're also going to want to choose the sarcastic dialogue option for most of your playthrough. When it comes to power armor, we'll leave it up to you for the most part, but we think that X01 with vault tech paint looks good, as does T45 with Minutemen paint if you don't mind the lower armor rating. Also keep in mind that for all our Fallout 4 builds, we put timestamp links in the description so you can go back and watch a section of the video you forgot information from or skip through a section. Now let's get into the backstory. You won't find out why this build is called the Diplomat until the faction section, but he was raised in Boston, and throughout his entire upbringing, he experienced nothing but love and fun. The Diplomat was the cheeky child in the family, but he was always kind and instantly became close with the new people he would meet. The Diplomat was extremely entertaining, and he was the perfect person to talk to when things were glum. That said, he wasn't just some silly joker who didn't take life seriously. He also enjoyed developing strong bonds with many people throughout his younger years, and during high school he was adored by girls and guys as a ladies man. The diplomat also enjoyed his money and he always found himself with quite a lot. People were always generous to him because they liked him, and when he went to buy things he'd always use his charm to haggle down the price. Because of his luck with money, he decided to try a few money making ventures of his own. For example, during one stage of his adolescence, the diplomat would go around with pre-owned Mr. Handys and sell them for almost full value. Regardless of this, his sales began to fall with the war raging on worse and worse as time went by, and he decided that there was no point in having money if his country was eventually bombed and everyone was killed. Because of this, he enlisted in the military and had a successful career as an officer. He wasn't as tough as the other soldiers, but the morale of those he spent his time with would rise dramatically, and the people above him knew this. They would use him to get the laziest soldiers into shape and inspired to fight against the enemy, and because of this, he was held in high regard by all. Eventually, however, the diplomat had some time partying on shore leave and found himself talking with a girl he felt very attracted to. This attraction was mutual, and over the next few years, the two fell in love and decided to get married. After getting his wife pregnant, the diplomat withdrew from the military to spend time as a wisecracking, dad joke making family man, and everything was going well until the bombs began to fall and he was rushed into Vault 111. We all know the unfortunate events which unfold next. Here at Fudge Muppet, we keep faction and big quest storylines very vague in our Fallout 4 builds, but we will be telling you all the factions the diplomat will be working with. If you don't want to know all the joinable factions in Fallout 4, then skip through the faction choices section using the timestamps in the description. With that out of the way, let's jump into the motives and faction choices section of this build. Emerging out of the vault and into the commonwealth, the diplomat is going to desperately search for his son. On his journey, he finds that most people and factions like him, even though deep down he may not like them. The Diplomat will encounter Preston Garvey at the Museum of Freedom in Concord, and with no other friends in the Wasteland, he will instantly be happy to join the Minutemen. He feels a strong connection to the people Preston is with, and will definitely help Mama Murphy quit drugs. He's always gained his energy from being around others, and he desires to build new bonds with people who have the ambition to make a difference and also help him find his son. That being said, the Diplomat can see that the Minutemen don't exactly have all the resources in the world, and after discovering factions like the Railroad and the Brotherhood of Steel, he will join their ranks as well to gain access to their information, methods, and technology. The Diplomat is going to try to be diplomatic with the other factions, but he will ultimately find that he wants to side with the Minutemen. After discovering the Institute, he is very disappointed with what he sees, and he is of course against their kidnappings and experiments. The Diplomat is a people person, and he thinks that living in a sterile white world isn't living at all. Also, the Diplomat will want to buy an armoured, clean black suit while he's working with the Railroad. 
The Diplomat is going to somersault into the wasteland with 1 strength, 3 perception, 3 endurance, 10 charisma, 6 intelligence, 1 agility, and 4 luck. You'll be getting the perception bobblehead straight away, making this 4 perception, and you'll want to get the special book in Sanctuary and use it on your endurance. This will make your endurance 4, and after you get the bobblehead for it, you'll end up with 5. You'll want to get all the bobbleheads as soon as possible, within reason of course, and we've got our guides in the description on how to get all these bobbleheads and the special book. I'd also like to mention that YouTube has been playing up a bit lately, so if any of the links don't work, just copy-paste the video link title into the YouTube search bar and add on Fudge Muppet at the end. The Diplomat has never been the strongest physically, although he is decently fit, and while he doesn't have super amazing sniper spider sensors or lightning reflexes, he makes up for this with a silver tongue and quite a powerful brain. He's also a pretty lucky dude and he's always used his luck, brains and smooth talking ability to his advantage to get his way out of or into any situation. Now that you know the backstory, start game stats and the faction choices of the Diplomat, let's actually build the build. Like almost all our Fallout 4 builds, we'll be explaining all the perk choices up to level 50, and from then on the choices will be up to you. The first perk the Diplomat gets is one of the coolest perks in Fallout 4, the 10th Charisma perk, Intimidation. Simply aim your gun at any human opponent below your level and you'll gain a chance to pacify them. This is really useful as you can stop an enemy and then point blank headshot them depending on how you feel. We've made this character quite moral, but if you want to take a darker path, you can. You'll definitely want to consider some threatening speech options to get more money. Try to chase the money as much as possible without hurting people who don't deserve it. With the final rank of Intimidation, you'll actually be able to control these pacified targets and command them like they're a companion. Next, we're getting the Wasteland Whisperer perk, and this is basically the same as Intimidation. However, instead of pacifying and eventually commanding humans, you'll be doing it with Wasteland creatures. Remember, animals don't count as creatures, but that doesn't really matter because animals aren't too common and they're usually weak. After this, we're getting the inspirational perk, and this will make the Diplomat's companions unable to hurt him, and they'll cause more damage to their targets. Companions are a huge part of the Diplomat's playstyle, and you'll want to make the most of them throughout the entire game. Next up, we're getting an extremely useful perk for most Fallout 4 characters, and this is the Scrounger perk. This perk makes you find more ammo in containers, and due to your high charisma, this ammo can be continually sold for a very handy amount of caps. You'll also want to give some of the ammo you don't sell to your companions. Following Scrounger, the Diplomat is going to get the Fortune Finder perk, and this makes you discover more caps in containers. Now, to be completely honest, Scrounger is a better perk than Fortune Finder because you get more ammo, and if you don't want it, you can usually sell it for more caps than the caps you would find, but you will still find a decent amount of caps with Fortune Finder, and because this is the ultimate money-making build, we wanted both of these perks to get as rich as we can as quick as we can. Next up, we're getting the Cap Collector perk, and this improves improves buying and selling prices at vendors, and is needed to build shops and settlements. After this, we're getting the second rank of Scrounger to find even more ammunition in containers, and at level 9, we're getting the second rank of Fortune Finder to find even more caps in containers. By now, we've got a pretty good base for getting lots of money early on. And finally, at level 10, we're going to invest in some damage and get the Gunslinger perk to do a helpful 20% more damage with our pistols, and pistols are the Diplomat's favorite firearm of choice. At level 11, we're getting the local leader perk, and this perk allows you to establish supply lines between your workshop settlements. Next up, we're getting the science perk, so we can start customizing some cool energy weapons for our companions and settlers to use. Science also has a whole range of benefits for building in your settlements. Following this, we're getting the Scrapper perk, and this will allow us to take apart weapons and armor to obtain uncommon components like screws, aluminium, and copper. At level 14, we're getting the second rank of local leader, and now we'll be able to build stores and workstations at our workshop settlements all throughout the wasteland. Having lots of settlements will help you gain more caps, and they're also a lot of fun. Next, we're getting the first rank of Gun Nut to build our guns and make better guns for companions and settlers. This perk will also help us with building better turrets at our settlements. Following this, the Diplomat will be investing in the Locksmith perk so he can open advanced locks to loot safes and get into rooms with higher value items. You'll of course have enough perception for this perk by now due to the perception bobblehead. Then we get the hacker perk so we can hack advanced terminals to open maglock doors and also turn off turrets or turn those stationed protectrons against our enemies. 
Hack will also allow us to make terminals for our settlements. Next, the diplomat gets the second rank of gun nut to make better guns for people and better turrets for settlements, and after that perk, we'll be investing a perk point into the second rank of inspirational. Now the diplomat's companions cannot be harmed by his attacks, and they'll resist more damage from enemies in combat. This makes our companions significantly more helpful in battle. At level 20, we're getting the second rank of Cap Collector, and this makes buying and selling prices at vendors much better than before. At level 21, the Diplomat is getting the second rank of Wasteland Whisperer, and this means that after you pacify a Wasteland creature, you can incite it to attack. You can't tell it who to attack, but it will aim to kill whatever enemies are nearby, which of course doesn't include you or your companion. Next, we're investing in a fan favorite Fallout perk, and that is Mysterious Stranger. This perk will make the Mysterious Stranger occasionally appear in vats to help you shoot down your targets with deadly efficiency. At level 23, we're getting the second rank of Intimidation, and now when we pacify human targets, we can incite them to attack our enemies as well. Now the Diplomat can make Wasteland creatures and humans below his level pacified and get them to cause chaos. Next up is Scrapper 2, meaning we can salvage rare components from weapons and armor, such as circuitry, nuclear material, and fiber optics. We can also favorite certain components which will become highlighted in the Wasteland, so we can easily find the items we're looking for. If you didn't connect the dots, we're going to want all these components for building our awesome settlements and also making better gear. At level 25, we're getting the third rank of Scrounger to find even more ammunition in the Wasteland, and then we're getting the third rank of Fortune Finder to find even more caps. Remember to sell all the ammunition that you and your companion won't be using to get a hefty sack of caps. Following this, it's time to get more damage with Gunslinger rank 2. Now our pistols will do 40% more damage and have increased range. Also, do note that automatic pistols do not work with this perk because they count as automatic weapons and are affected by commando. Next up, we get the first rank of Medic so that our Stimpaks heal 40% of our health and right away removes 40% of our radiation, and now you'll also be able to make clinics for your settlements. Then we're getting the second rank of Locksmith and the second rank of Hacker to be able to hack Expert Terminals and open Expert Locks, giving us access to more high-value loot and terminals. At level 31, we're getting the third rank of Gunslinger to deal 60% more damage with our pistols and increase their range even further. And then at level 32, we're getting Locksmith 3 to open Master Locks. Next, we're following the pattern and getting Hacker 3 to hack Master Terminals, and now we can get through any lock and terminal in the game. Next, we get the second rank of Science to use better science modifications, and it will also allow you to make better defenses for your settlements. At level 35, we get the second rank of Mysterious Stranger, and this will make the Mysterious Stranger swing by in vats more often than before to help you take out your foes. We're then getting Gunslinger rank 4 to deal 80% more pistol damage, and also have a chance to disarm our enemies with every bullet or blast we land. We're then getting Scrounger rank 4 to find even more ammo in the Commonwealth, and after this we'll be getting Gun Nut 3 to further modify our guns. Next up, we've got Science 3 to further customize science-based gear, and then at level 40, we're getting Fortune Finder 4 to find even more caps during our Wasteland adventures. At level 41, we're getting the third and final rank of Cap Collector, and this will give the Diplomat the opportunity to invest a total of 500 caps to raise a store's buying capacity. This perk saves you a lot of time when it comes to making bank. You've got to spend money to make money. We're then getting the fifth and final rank of Gunslinger to deal double damage with our pistols and also have a bigger chance of disarming opponents with our attacks. There's also now a chance that pistols will cripple our targets. Following this, we're going with Mysterious Stranger 3 and this makes him have an even bigger chance to appear in VATS and there's a chance that when he kills an opponent, your critical meter gets filled. While this character isn't using critical hits left, right and center, this is still a nice effect to have. Who says no to more critical hits? Something I really like about the Mysterious Stranger perk is that it adds another person to your gang. There's you, your standard companion, and potentially another human or creature that you've temporarily pacified, and then on top of this, there's this mysterious man who's always looking out for you during your travels. At level 44, we're getting the third rank of Inspirational, and now your companions will be able to carry more items. This works really well with Cap Collector, as after you fill up your own carry weight, you'll be able to store 
heaps of loot on your companions, which you can go sell. At level 45, we're getting the first rank of Animal Friend, and this will allow us to pacify animals in the wasteland. We get this perk more for fun and roleplaying than anything else. Now we can pacify a whole new range of enemies, although they do tend to be weaker and anything strong is quite rare. At level 46, we're getting the second rank of Medic so that Stimpaks restore 60% of our health and right away remove 60% of our radiation. And then after this helpful perk, we're getting the final rank of Science, allowing us to create the best energy weapons for the Diplomat and his companions. Next, we get Gun Nut to do the same thing but with Ballistic Guns. And then we're going to invest in the final rank of Wasteland Whisperer to be able to fully command our pacified Wasteland creatures. Finally, at level 50, we're getting the third and final rank of Intimidation to fully command any humans that we pacify. Now you can essentially have an additional companion with you. However, this companion can die and won't fast travel with you. Perhaps you'll find yourself exploring with a Chameleon Deathclaw or just a really tough Raider. The endgame special stats for the Diplomat build are only changed by the Bobbleheads and the special book and they are as follows. Two Strength. 4 Perception, 5 Endurance, 11 Charisma, 7 Intelligence, 2 Agility, and 5 Luck. That being said, the Diplomat will actually have more Charisma because of what he wears, so let's talk about gear. We usually explain gear in terms of early game, mid game, and end game, however this time it's going to be a bit more general. So early on in the game, you're going to want to get a clean black suit, black rim sunglasses, and a formal hat. You can find or buy these pretty easily around the wasteland. Try the clothing shop in Diamond City. This is going to give you a total of plus 4 charisma, which is incredibly handy early on, and it gives the diplomat a very classy professional feel. You'll be buying and selling at bargain prices, allowing you to save up caps, which you can use to buy resources for your settlements. You'll also be able to go to Trinity Tower early on and get your hands on Reginald's suit. We've got a video linked in the description all about this. The black suit outfit will be your main getup for the entire game, however you can wear Reginald's suit early on to blend in more with everyone else wandering the wasteland. This will also give you one more point of charisma than the black suit, so if you really want the best of the best prices, you can wear this when buying and selling. Also, for some mid-game gear which you can wear forever, make sure you buy the armored clean black suit from the faction we mentioned in the faction section. Finally, remember to pick up armor to give to your companions if you want to tank them up. Now, when it comes to weapons, the Diplomat is going to be using most of the pistols in the game. If there's any pistols you really want, then go and get them, but we find that 10 mil and 44 pistols can work great, as can plasma pistols and laser pistols. You could get the Alien Blaster too, and be sure to check out our video we made on where to get it if you're not sure. Also, you're going to be modifying these weapons as you invest more perks into Gun Nut and Science. So by the end of the game, you'll want around three of your favorite pistols fully modified for high level use. Perhaps you want a laser sniper pistol for when you're feeling wacky and need long range attacks, a plasma pistol with an improved splitter attachment for close range, and a 10 mil pistol with a silencer. Have fun with your customization, as long as the damage is high and the guns look awesome, the choice is yours. Remember too that the main focus of this build isn't on the combat, but rather on the awesome money making capabilities it has and the settlement building. You're going to end up with 15 charisma due to the bobblehead and your outfit, and this will be 16 with Reginald's suit. You can also build upon this with chems like Day Tripper and Grape Mentats. The Diplomat is going to want to max the affinity on as many companions as he can. If you aren't bothered doing this but want to know more about the best companion perks, then check out our best companion perks video which we'll put in the description for you. After this you can decide which companions you want to invest your time in. We think getting Piper early on is a great idea so you can get the Gift of the Gab perk. In terms of role playing and fun, we think Codsworth goes well with the atmosphere of the Diplomat because he's like your robot butler and McCready definitely fits fits in nicely too. When it comes to settlements, the Diplomat is obviously going to be a master. You're going to want to get as many settlements as you can and over time build them all up as best as possible. You'll want to create a web of supply chains over the commonwealth to build an empire of fortune and prosperity. All your settlements will want the best defenses, resources, high happiness ratings and plenty of shops for you to sell your loot at for sensational prices. Be sure to make some settlements specialized too. You could have places that are water farms with industrial water purifiers everywhere and you can use this as an alternative health source or sell lots of purified water for a good amount of caps. And that's all for now everyone, we've come to the end of the Diplomat build. 
Remember to subscribe to Fudge Muppet for all the other Fallout 4 builds we've got coming your way each week, and please do share this video if you think it deserves it. Leave a like if you love making some moolah in Fallout 4, and remember we've got our social media links and guides in the description. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see everyone who subscribed very soon with some more Fallout 4 goodness.